I was asked to curate this exhibition because of the success of a manga that we worked on with Hoshino Yukinobu called Professor Munakata's British Museum Adventure in 2011. And because I did a small exhibition at the front of the museum called uh, Manga Now, Three Generations, which drew 100,000 people. This showed the British Museum, I think, that there was a great interest in manga and uh, this exhibition is a result of that. For the last few years, I've been seconded to the British Museum and I am the research director now at the Sainsbury Institute. My heart is in Norwich, but my body is in London. And, but I often go up to Norwich and what we're working on is delivering um, an MA that will be um, online very soon in Japanese cultures. We certainly want manga to be an integral part of that. I will do my best. I was teaching at, from 1996 for three years at the School of World Art Studies at Japanese Art History, and we were very lucky to have a significant donation from Sir Robert and Lady Sainsbury of their Mogliani painting to create the Sainsbury Institute for the Study of Japanese Arts and Cultures. So I was the founding director of that. And it was a real privilege to be able to work with UEA, to work with the Sainsburys, and to work with the local community to create a Japanese research institute that's unique, I believe, in the world. Certainly, there's nothing like it in Japan, and it's well positioned within the university, but also an independent institute that can help support the university in many different departments, many different schools, and support students bringing academics from Japan into the university and bringing Japan to Norwich, but also bringing Norwich to Japan. People should come because this is the largest exhibition of manga of its kind outside of Japan, and I don't believe this type of exhibition will happen again. The exhibition includes original drawings for the first time that leaving Japan for a large part, um, but also not only that, it has a 17 meter theater curtain that will never be shown again. And it has a lot of historical material, digital content that you will not see elsewhere. But most importantly, this exhibition pulls it all together into a coherent context. And through this, you will become fluent in manga, but you'll also understand manga's importance and hopefully um, be inspired to do further looking into manga, even further research into manga, and find your own manga. Thank you.